Hello everybody. Um, this is a this video. It's it's an Excel on how to use Microsoft Excel to compute uh, maximum flow in a flow network. So now in flow network you have a series of activities. I mean we have a collection of nodes and vertices. We are, the objective is that you have, for instance, you are moving something between junctions so between o and a your o and a may represent a road junction for instance so you are moving cars this this may be cars maybe the cars moving between road o and a between junction o and a is five cars between junction o and c is four cars for instance so you have all these possible options and the the o the first node here is the origin and the last node here t is the uh, terminal so origin and terminal you are moving between o and t and you want to compute the maximum flow in that network between o and t so i have preset the value from o to t in the row o to t in the column okay so if you look at the network from o to a you have o to o there is no o to o in the diagram, so it's A. Do you have O to A, O to A, 5, O to B, 7, O to C, 4? Do you have O to D? No. O to E, 0, O to T, 0. And you move down. The same thing, you don't have O to A. So this is how you, you will do all the nodes. So the diagram here, the diagram here is enough to represent your flow network or the picture so this cells here okay is, is enough so i just translate the diagram the pictures here into this uh cells let me copy that that's the original problem i can come here and call this one the actual flow the actual flow okay actual flow now the content in the actual flow will be different from the content in the main uh in the cell above or the capacity of the network so let me make this to be um, yellow okay that's fine and let me compute what is called column sum let me have what is called row sum because I need to compute that let me make that cell to be what color mm. uh, let me have a uh, blue and uh, Okay, and let me the the row sum the row sum you see you can't come there you have to stop there the row sum let me give this color um, no. I can give it uh, this okay now let me uh, format that to Okay, now the sum of rows is a equals sum the sum of all the rows. I can drag down, I can drag that down here. Fantastic. I'll do the same thing for column sum equals sum equals sum from the first to the last. And I can also drag this okay now in the row sum the first cell in the row sum is a special cell the value that you have there will actually be your maximum flow or the value you have here so the value here so let me make this uh 
let me call a maximum flow. Okay, so that cell, let me give it what color? Uh, green. You know, I love green. That would be my objective function. That objective cell. So I can have technically that place, the value of that cell must be equal to this one. Okay, and also when I'm setting up the constraint, this cell and the the last blue cell and the first uh, the purple, you know, gray cell must be equal. So that is fine. So let me give this uh, the first row sum cell. Let me make it. It's going to be a special cell. Let me make it. Let me make it color red. And also let me make the last blue cell to be color red too. I need those. Uh, as a last, like your origin and destination. Okay. Now I think uh, I've set up everything properly. Yes. Now I can call the solver. I can call the solver. Okay. Let me uh, let me uh, let me delete what I have there before. Okay. Now. My objective function is this green cell here. And I can call it maximum flow. Okay. Now, my decision variables are the orange cells from here down here. C sixteen to I twenty two to decision variables. I only have one set of decision variables, so I have to click OK. Okay, now I move to constraints. My constraint should be integers. Okay, and also non-negative. Make unconstrained variables non-negative non negative okay and um or another way you can do another another thing you can do it okay uh now add add you can make all this to be greater than or equals to zero that's a constraint okay I need more constraints. You must make sure the the two red cells are equal. So this one must exactly be equals to the second one here. Height. And the last constraint, I think. Oh, sorry, I'm not done with constraint yet. I have a now you know between o and t you have nodes a b c d a b c d e so you have to use in between nodes as constraints too so for here second one third fourth and fifth. don't use the last one okay must be exactly equals to you don't use the first blue set okay take note of that this second third fourth fifth. see in between nodes okay i need more i need more i have done for the i need more so and lastly lastly i would need this the actual flow is normally bounded by the capacity so the actual flow should be less than or equals to the capacity so should be less than or equals to all you have here that is the final that is the final constraint i think 
that's it now i can now call the solver let me call the standard lp and solve it yeah you see i found a solution nicely you see we observe the two red cells they are equal 14 and 14 equals to the green cell so i'll keep the solution okay i'll keep the answer I'll, i can keep everything okay now if you look at this is a this is a solution now what about the interpretation so if you check all the orange cell if you sum up all the rows it's going to give you 14 I mean for the first row sum all those everything is balanced so between o and t the maximum flow that you can ever have is what 14. that's it i hope uh oh okay it's still computing the the uh limit and uh some other things that i don't actually need let's wait for it see down here it's now at 70 70 percent oh this is nice so uh let me wait a little bit okay nine eight nine okay cool so i have the result all the results here sensitivity so these are the original decision variables see that initially the orange cells all of them were what all of them were zero based on the network you see if you look at this uh the actual network you have a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you should have a uh, forty-nine cells. These are forty-nine cells. So okay. And after solving it, after solving it, you have this values here. Okay. These are the values, and those are the values that determine your maximum proof. You see, maximum proof forty. And that's it. So I hope. Uh, this video is informative and uh, helpful. Stay safe.